another match with Mansfield in the playoffs, another incredible atmosphere, incredible game. Just, just whole, I guess your opening thoughts. They're a terrific team. Yeah. They are extremely well prepared. And they, they were probably the best defensive team we played this year. Uh, they did a great job of preventing us from getting all the way to the rim for the most part, but luckily we were able to stop and pull up and hit jump shots. Kellen and Brandon did, had a great job shooting the ball tonight. It was tied 73-73 uh, with 223 to go, and you guys were on a 12 over run. What was the key to that, in your opinion? Um, I think they were tired, and it was one of those games, it was, in the state tournament game, momentum such a key. We got an easy hoop, and then I think Matt Hanna drove the length of the floor and got one to make it four, and the momentum swung to us, and I, that was, I thought that was the key. Just, we got the momentum at the, right, at the right time. If the game went another three minutes, they might have got it right back. Who knows? And then Callen's second dunk. I know Bray got dunks. So you're not really a big fan of the, of the Oh, dunk. no, I don't mind the dunk as long as you don't get a technical hanging on the rim. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. What kind of momentum does it do? Three plays on a roll like that, that was a swat and the two dunks. What does it do from a momentum standpoint for the guys? It's, it's huge. And like I said, state tournament, momentum is everything. And, and, uh, the swat was big. I thought the two dunks were huge. So for some reason, our guys feed off Callan and Jillian when they throw the ball down. It just gets us. It, it, what it does is it gives us more energy for the defense bench. Bowen was uh, eight for nine in the first half. What did you guys do in the second half to kind of? Just tried to wear him down a bit more. Um, we. We know he runs their team, so we want, wanted to make sure that every, t every possession they had, he had to work to get the ball up the floor and into their offense. Brandon, you started about four or five for threes, and then you, you, I think you missed your next six or seven field goals. How did you uh, regain your touch there in the uh, second half? Uh, as a shooter, you got to just take next one going in, and I have confidence in my teammates throughout the stretch. Uh, Kellen steps up big in the second half, obviously, so even though my shot was a fall, I kept telling myself the next one's going to go in, and uh, I trusted my teammates towards the end. Kellen, towards the end, everyone behind us is saying he's feeling it. Every time you let the ball go, they thought he was feeling it. And what's, the, what's the feeling? Like, the, the champions on the line, every, pretty much everything you put up is falling. Yeah, it was a great feeling. You just got to stay aggressive. I thought in the first half I let my teammates down. I thought I was too passive and I you know, rejuvenated and motivated. And in the second half, I went my way. What rejuvenated you specifically? Uh, the fact that you know my matchup probably had 15 points and I wasn't closing out well enough. And I thought he was in the personal battle. Can you, can you take us through that, that chase from behind the block? Uh, well, in, um, yesterday in practice, when he bolted, if he inbounded, he would cut hard right after he inbounded, and he beat me. And, you know, I, I, I didn't want him to get an easy layup, especially because with a shooter, once they see the ball go through the hoop, that's confidence for them, so I just hustled down and block. Early on, he, he, he did a good job of using the baseline to, to seal you into a, into a tight space, you know, in the corners there and, and force you to work out of that. Um, how did you adjust to, to the way he was defending you? You know, I try to keep the ball in the middle before there's more room. And if he cuts me off face, there's not much, not, you know, much I can do. So I try to keep in the middle of the floor. And if, I, if I were cut off, look at my shooters. Brandon, Jillian, Matt, and Dennis told me they did a good job of hitting shots. Difficult to defend a guy like that? Especially, especially in a 6'6". Six, six. Yeah. So, yeah. And he can shoot so well. You guys love those slow starts, huh? Another rough first quarter, but then he came out in the second half like a whole new team. What, what happened? Um, I don't know. Um, we didn't really start off too intense on defense, so we kind of had to pick that up. How about the committed nine turnovers in the first quarter, too? That seems like a characteristic. Um, I don't know. Maybe you got him out of the first quarter. Is there something about Mansell brings out the best in you last year was the three overtime instant classic? Uh, the crowd here was unbelievable. What's it like playing in these games with Mansfield and with this kind of atmosphere? Uh, it's great. You know, so we work hard all year for it. Um, we want to play games like this. And we knew it was going to be a good one. We were going to have our runs. We were going to have theirs. And fortunately, we came off of it tonight.